Hello YouTube, today we're going to do a review of the SL, the Guardian SL Bug Net by uh, Eagle's Nest Outfitter. Anyway, today we're going to review the Eno Guardian SL bug net, which as you can see on the label it says Guardian SL. Now, I uh, kind of hinted to uh, getting one of these in a previous video, and uh, you know, when I first tried to use it with the uh, ridge line that I had. You know, and put it, loop it over the ridge line. I noticed it didn't didn't properly fit over me. You know, underneath me when I was trying to get it on. So I contacted Eno and uh, got some uh, recommendations by them of things to try, and which I did. And uh, I'll, uh, I'm including some uh, photos of, of of my experiments with that, along with this within this video. But uh, what I found is, is that the major problem with this bug net is that the lack of material length on this makes the bug net almost unusable in any configuration. I also find that this bug net, because of its uh, difficulty and uh, being uh, removed from the hammock poses a safety hazard because you cannot get out of the hammock in any, in, with any quickness uh, without trying to rip through it. So if you had to evacuate your hammock, you would be stuck. And the major problem is, is that the length between this ridge line when tied and the bottom of the hammock, you know, the hammock takes up this much space you're left with this much space of actual, you know, above your hammock. This creates an issue where the hammock is almost touching your nose. I mean, the, I mean, the bug net's almost touching your nose. Um, I don't know how anybody can sleep that way. Um, plus, uh, it's very claustrophobic. Uh, if Eno had simply added an additional foot or two to the length of the hammock from this end or made this piece of material a foot or two, two wider, they would have uh, had a hammock probably similar in size to their, to their uh, other uh, Guardian bug net product that's a little bit longer, that has the zipper going through the middle, that would have worked, functionally worked the same way. Now, give me no credit, I like the design of this uh, bug net because it's very simple. It's just that the skimping of the material makes it is, is the flaw. Basically, you have one end that's closed. You have a cable that runs down the length of the top of it. And on the other side, you have the length of the hammock all the way wide. And as you can see, the cable is fed through there. And then what you do, once you have it pulled up over you to the other end of the hammock, you pull that tight. This is a great concept. And uh, I give you know, credit for coming up with it. Because it's the way I would have done it. But the primary flaw is, they did not use enough material. Um, so because of this, it, it makes it very difficult to, to use. And it makes it very unsafe. So at this time, I cannot recommend this bug net uh, to any of my viewers. I hope that Eno sees this video and makes the necessary changes uh, because I would rather have this kind of bug net than the one with the zipper in the middle. Um, or one because mainly due to weight and, uh, and just packability. Um, I do like the netting material that they use. It's very rugged. It's very light. And uh, it does 
look like it would keep most uh, your critters and bugs out. Unless uh, they can uh, modify it so that you can use, say, a proper ridge line. Um, you know, that, that, that's, that's basically the main thing. You know, they should take, have taken consideration as well as, um, you know, the hammock safety and, uh, and uh, you know, and whatnot. But other the quality of the build is good. Anyway, as I said, I cannot recommend this at this time. Hopefully they'll fix it. Uh, if you have any comments on this, if you disagree, or you've, had, or you've bought one of these and you want to share your experiences and what you think of it, uh, you know, say so in the comments below. Otherwise, you know, the usual message, like, subscribe, and uh, keep coming back to watch us. Thank you.